we live in a very dry country. So in Kenya, we have direct sun. So I always advise somebody, no matter what product you're using, even a natural product like uh, ours, it, our, our natural products have a power, our SPF of 17 to 15. That's what a natural product usually does. But for this hot sun, especially like now in January and February, when the sun has been so hot, you need to use a sunscreen. And always make sure you use a sunscreen with the right uh, SPF. It could be 17. 40, 30, but personally at my age, I have to use the strongest. So I actually use 50. That gives me full protection. And when we are using, you know, we use and then you're supposed to wear a hat. At least when you're going out in the sun, wear a hat. And not a hat like the man's hat because that only covers this part. Always make sure you wear a full brimmed hat and cover this. And if possible, you also cover your neck because we also expose our neck. And with ladies, we age our neck and our hands first. So when you go to the sun, always make sure you put a scarf. Sometimes you can look like a, like a Muslim, like you're covering the whole body, but it's good for your protection if you're going to stay the whole day in the sun. It's very, very advisable and necessary. The best anti-aging I can advise, that's a, that's a main trick. I made quite a number of mistakes. I got a product that because I had some spots on me, it was a bit harsh and actually made my face start like uh, bleaching. I got yellow in some patches, I got black in some patches. The, it was just a harsh product and I knew that I was, I was doing it the wrong way. So I decided to try another, yet another. So I went on to, I'm not going to mention any products for now, but uh, what I can tell you is, if you do not look for something natural, you're bound to get these kind of reactions. The next one I did uh, made my whole face swell. And that's when I learned I was actually allergic to honey. So it was just something small, but it was the product had been mixed with a lot of honey. So it made my whole face blow up. And for about a month, I was actually hiding myself in the room. So that's when I actually decided, you know, first I need to talk to a dermatologist so that I can know whether I have any allergies. Because for, before then, I didn't even know that I had been allergic to anything. So I talked to a dermatologist and they told me whatever you want to try, can you bring them to me and I will advise you. So I took my the products which I was deciding on and I took to them and I said, okay, now advise me, is this a mask I should use? Because I'm interested in not only anti-aging, but also removing any spots or any bands that I had on my skin. So they looked at the products, they studied the ingredients, and they told me, okay, go ahead and try, but as you start trying, you need to start slowly. Like you use in the morning, but don't use in the evening. See whether there is, give it 24 hours, and see whether there is any reaction. After that, do it maybe morning and the next day, you know? So slowly add on. First start with the, the cleanser and the toner. Before you, when you use the serum, don't use the moisturizer yet. Wait and see whether the serum works on you. Because if you pile them all together on you, you won't know exactly what reacted on you. So I took my serum, I used it for about three days. That worked very well. I tried my moisturizer, that also worked very well. I tried a mask then I knew that's not for my skin type because it started uh, drying up my skin. I could see my skin was getting a bit flaky. So I decided to use no more to, to oily instead of no more to dry. All this time I had thought my skin was no more to oily. So it's very important that you also know your skin type. You must have someone analyze your skin and recommend what you should use. You just can't go blindly. And many times you go to a shop and somebody will tell you, buy this, buy this, buy this. Always make sure you step back. Don't just buy whatever you have been advised. Always take it, study it. If you have skin problems, make sure you take it to your dermatologist first before you try it. It's a very good idea because you will save yourself a lot of tears. If someone doesn't have access to a dermatologist, I would suggest they take the products themselves and just try, but be very, use very minimal at the beginning. You can even use on a skin patch or on the side of your face, just a little to, and wait. You put it here and wait for three days to see whether anything happened, not, not three days, sorry. You wait at least 24 hours to see whether there's any reaction in your skin. Just apply it and wait. If somehow, if somewhere, uh, if you make a mistake and somehow it blows up your face, just leave that product. Don't even try it again. But they also say some products you need to use at least for three weeks or so before you can see the results. So it all depends on uh, the product. You can study it. Nowadays, we have access online to anything we want. So if, if you see you're not sure and you have no access to a dermatologist, Google it. Check what the product has ingredients. Check the reviews from other women. 
talk to one if you can. Just make sure that you don't just dive in blindly. Always make sure that what you are going to use on your skin is safe on you. That, that's uh, really very important. That's very good tips. Uh, 